Here we want to find the future value of an ordinary annuity. We're told that the interest is compounded annually and that the periodic payment, capital R, is 8,000. The interest rate per period, little i, is 0 0.05 and that the total number of compounding periods over the life of the annuity, which is little n, uh, is 15. So basically, we have to know what the formula is for the future value of an ordinary annuity. Write it down and use the given values. Do the calculation and you're done. Here's the formula for the future value of an ordinary annuity. Now here you're given directly little i and little n. Often you're not. So I'm going to go ahead and make an aside which you really don't need now, but in general you do. If you don't know what the interest rate per period is, you may have to calculate it based on being given the interest rate, the annual interest rate, little r, and the number of compounding periods per year, which is little m. And also you may need to calculate little n based on knowing that uh, it is m times t, where m again is the number of compounding periods per year, and t is the number of years representing the life of the annuity. Like I said, you don't need those here, but you do in general. Here, basically, I just need to put 8,000 8, in for capital R, 0 0.05 in for little i, 15 in for little n, and then carefully use my calculator to figure out what capital S, which is the future value of that ordinary annuity is. Now, personally, I would do this entire thing on the calculator. Another thing I would mention is that if the calculator is not in the correct view, maybe it's in the stats view or the uh, standard view, it has to be put into the scientific view. So assuming you've got that, do the calculation. You have 1 plus 0 0.05 equals, that quantity gets raised to the 15th power, so you hit x to the y, enter 15, click equal, and then that quantity has 1 subtracted from it, so minus 1 equals, that's the entire numerator, now I simply want to divide by 0 0.05. Click equal. That gives me the entire quantity in brackets. That quantity has to be multiplied by 8,000, so I do times 8,000 equals. And that tells me that the future value of this ordinary annuity is 172,628 dollars and to the nearest cent would be 51 cents.